Good morning and welcome to The Open University. Uh, my name is Kevin Streeter and I'm the Head of IT Industry Engagement uh, here at the OU. And uh, it's a great pleasure to welcome you all here this morning uh, for the Sophia in Education and Workplace Learning Conference. Uh, so now I'd like to hand over to the Chair of BCS uh, Learning Development Specialist Group uh, to introduce the conference. So, Julie Atkins, Thank over you. to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, and uh, welcome to this international collaboration of academics and workplace learning professionals. Doesn't that sound great? We're actually getting together. Um, would I, I'd like you please just to, um, to give us a little bit of information before we make a start. So can I ask you please to stand if you have heard of Sophia or Sophia or the Skills Framework for the Information Age, please. Well, thank goodness for that. So we've had, we're okay, we're all in the right place. Now, remain standing, please, if you have used Sophia in your organisation. Okay, remain standing, please, if you have used Sophia in a learning and development context. Okay. Remain standing, please, if you've got a great story to tell about your use of Sophia in a learning and development context. <laughs> and finally, remain standing, please, if you're going to talk about that today here at this conference. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your speakers for today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Those of you who have a great story to tell about the use of Sophia in a learning development context and you're not speaking today, please make sure you continue to collaborate with us and with your colleagues. And these are a number of ways in which you can do that. Today you can tweet during the event, please, using the hashtag LDConf12. And after the event, you can follow us at Landinit, which we regularly do. Um, L and D in IT, by the way, just in case. You can find us on LinkedIn, the BCS Learning and Development Specialist Group, and you can like us, oh, for goodness sake, you can like us on Facebook as the BCS Learning and Development SG. Okay, all of that is in your conference brochure at the back. So, the thank yous before we do anything else, please. First of all, thank you very much to the Open University for hosting. This is a fabulous venue. And Kevin, thank you very much for, uh, for working with us to organise this. Thank you also to the Sophia Foundation and Ron in particular for all your help with this and to our speakers. And then the member groups team at BCS. If we have any BCS um, specialist group members here, you will probably be aware, and I know those of us that are involved in, in committees in particular, You'll be aware of the work that that team does, and they are absolutely fantastic. Mandy Bauer, in particular, has been really helpful. And the OU staff, Louise Clipson, can't be here today. She's gone on holiday. Um, but anyway, they, they, she's been really helpful in the run-up. And finally, the organisers, and I will introduce you to the BCS specialist group, please. Um, as Kevin said, I'm Julie Atkins. I'm chair of the uh, committee, and I'm also chairing today, so I get double whammy. Carol Holm isn't actually in the room at the minute. She's our treasurer and her role for the conference has been project manager. Paul Jagger, and here's our secretary. And those speakers will know you don't cross him. <laughs> He's been our speaker and paper author host. Sue Bird, again, isn't in the room. She's our events coordinator. Um, if you would like to uh, join us by offering... Uh, a session to our members. Sue's the person to speak to. We'd be delighted to hear from you. Kevin Streeter, you've already met the bottom there, uh, external relations, and today our Open University liaison. And Michelle Kay, down here, is our webmaster, and today she's responsible for the day-to-day -day management. So any problems? It's not my fault. <laughs> okay. Now, this is not designed to, uh, to be able to read, obviously. This is designed really to direct you, please, to the agenda, which is on page three of the brochure, just so you know what's happening for the morning. We've got two question breaks, really, one, one immediately before we have a coffee break and one just before lunch, rather than having 
questions at the end of each of the sessions. So if you do have questions, please uh, hold them until then. We'll have lunch at one o'clock and then this afternoon we move into three streams. Now what you may want to do, because we weren't sure of the, the rooms when we went to print on the brochures, you might just want to make a note please of, of the room in which your stream is this afternoon. So the continuing professional development is in the Medlar room. Curriculum development integration is in the Juniper room. And implementing Sophia in L&D is in the Hub Theatre. Okay, and a final thanks before I hand over to Ron McLaren, just to some of the authors of papers who aren't presenting, but some of whom are here with us today. And you will be able to get access to the papers that haven't been presented via our website later on. Okay, I'll hand over please to Ron McLaren from the Sophia Foundation. Well, good morning. I must say, it's a fantastic day, isn't it? First thing that struck me when I got up this morning, what a beautiful day. And I wonder if you're wondering whether you've done the right thing by being here in a lecture room on what's probably going to be the only sunny day in the entire month of June. You can probably think of places you'd rather be and might be more fun. But one thing I'll tell you, you won't learn nearly as much by sitting on a beach as you would by coming here. So I'm very pleased to see you. And um, for me, it's nice to be back in an academic environment, actually. My, my last experience is a, quite a long time ago. I remember quite distinctly in my final year, I used to walk into university and pass a building that had a little plaque on the front, because it wasn't a very big building, and it said Department of Computing. And I remember quite clearly, I used to think, computing, what's that? Uh, it's calculating, isn't it? It must be maths. It must be part of the maths department. But I can't imagine what they do in there. And there we are. That's how the world was then, I'm afraid. But we've moved, we've moved on. And uh, it's time for me to get on, because otherwise um, I should be delaying all the exciting things that you're due to hear today. So let's talk about a little bit about why Sophia. Um, this transformation thing is on everybody's lips. The government wants to transform itself. The government wants the civil service to transform itself, and most of the civil service wants to transform itself. Industry wants to transform itself and become more efficient and win new markets, new customers, start new businesses. Education wants to make sure that it's producing the kind of people who are going to get jobs when they graduate. And this is all especially true nowadays in difficult times. Uh, I think, looking back many, many years, we used to find that in difficult times, things like this were perhaps downplayed a bit. We can't afford that at the moment. And I think we have genuinely moved into an era where people realise they can't afford to do without the kind of stuff that you are involved in. So it's good to see so many people here, and especially people who are focused in this absolutely critical area, which is the sort of interface between what you can do today and what you hope to be able to do tomorrow or to put it another way, between education and work, or between training and work, that whole business of um, enabling you to do different things in the future. And it, I must say, it's good to have an audience like this, and I'm sure everybody is going to be uh, going home really pleased that they came. So e-business demands this transformation, because otherwise we're just going to automate what we've already been doing. We start automating the mess, and the pressure from customers is such that we really have to get on and do this. And the single most important factor in all of this, of course, is the people. It's the people, stupid. And uh, this, I suppose you might say this doesn't need to be said, but it does need to be said because we continually come up against situations where um, this has not been considered and the capability of people today and tomorrow has not been considered and businesses don't do well who don't, um, look at that kind of issue and take regard of it and actually make the proper plans. So having the right skills in the p right place at the right time is really what we're all about here. And there are all sorts of different perspectives on that. There's the enterprise perspective, the individual, the manager, and the rest of it. And uh, we aim to help all of those people. Now, as you know, what we're really trying to offer with Sophia is a, a resource to help people do these things 
Um, you probably, as I do, occasionally meet people that think Sophia is going to do their management job for them, which is a bit depressing. Uh, but most people know that this is a resource and they can use it around this skills development cycle, particularly to integrate the various parts, uh, the various interlocking processes that exist in this cycle on the screen now, uh, or processes that should interlock, I should say. And so what we're offering is a set of consistent criteria and uh, preferably consistently applied. And it's really what you do that counts. And, of course, that's where you come in. I know that. Um, this education sector is really now taking off as far as Sophia is concerned. I don't mean it's just taking off. Obviously, education took off a few thousand years ago. Um, but certainly Sophia is really coming to the fore now and people are beginning to see how it can help um, inform curricula but also communicate with industry how um, what this university has to offer is appropriate, um, especially when you're considering employing people or, or even sending people back into education. And some of these roles, which I know that Kevin has uh, adopted and uh, published, um, are a good way of looking at the various important chunks of, of IT skill or categories of IT professional, would be a better way of putting it, um, which people are looking to employ. So the whole business of curriculum employers and uh, the use of Sophia profiles is coming together in quite an encouraging way. And I'm no, I know that you'll hear more about that today. As regards Sophia itself, well, it is used now by a huge number of organisations. Um, probably not much short of 100,000 people have obtained copies of Sophia. Of course, because it's free for people who are using it to manage their staff, it's very difficult for us to keep track of how many are actually using it, but it's clearly very large numbers, and we have communications from all around the world of people who are using it or want advice or what have you. So in all of these sectors, Sophia has become quite significant and, and well thought of. And so long as we continue to think of it as a resource and don't get too big for our boots, then we will continue to be useful. And we certainly intend to do that. So it works. Incidentally, we are taking a lot of steps to protect the IPR of Sophia. It's being registered now in over 35 countries around the world. Um, including all the members of the Madrid group who uh, uh, collaborate over IPR. So um, that's quite good news. And, of course, we have good offerings for people who want to exploit Sophia commercially, which I know that some of you do. <clears throat> but I won't dwell on that today, because today is, is mainly, of course, about learning. Um, and so what I'd really like to do is to say... Uh, I hope that uh, when you've um, gone home from this conference, gone back to work, that you will have things that you've learnt and that will help you put it into practice and that uh, this will propel you forward in this whole important business of learning. So <clears throat> thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the conference. Thank you. I forgot to say... In addition to the Sophia documentation, ITSMF has come out with some handy little booklets which summarise Sophia, which you might be interested in. So I've brought a couple with me which you can have, but you can get more of them from ITSMF, and I'm sure you know where they are. Thank you. Thanks very much, Rob.